Today, my right honourable friend, the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, is publishing the report of the Savile Inquiry, the tribunal set up by the previous government to investigate the tragic events of the 30th of January 1972, a day more commonly known as Bloody Sunday. Mr Speaker, I am deeply patriotic. I never want to believe anything bad about our country. I never want to call into question the behaviour of our soldiers and our army, who I believe to be the finest in the world. But the conclusions of this report are absolutely clear. There is no doubt, there is nothing equivocal, there are no ambiguities. What happened on Bloody Sunday was both unjustified and unjustifiable. did so as a result of an order which should not have been given by their commander. He finds that on balance the first shot in the vicinity of the march was fired by the British Army. He finds that none of the casualties shot by the soldiers of support company was armed with a firearm. He finds that there was some firing by Republican paramilitaries, but none of this firing provided any justification for the shooting of civilian casualties and he finds that in no case was any warning given by soldiers before opening fire. For those looking for statements of innocence, Savile says, the immediate responsibility for the deaths and injuries on Bloody Sunday lies with those members of support company whose unjustifiable firing was the cause of those deaths and injuries. Mr Speaker, these are shocking conclusions to read and shocking words to have to say. But, Mr Speaker, you do not defend the British Army by defending the indefensible. Some members of our armed forces acted wrongly. The government is ultimately responsible for the conduct of the armed forces, and for that, on behalf of the government, indeed on behalf of our country, I am deeply sorry. Unjustified and unjustifiable. Those are the words we've been waiting to hear since the 30th of January 1972. And I think, Derry, you have been absolutely brilliant in this. When the state kills its citizens, it is in the interest of all that those responsible be held to account.